Hey friends, welcome back to another Claire Hogel <laughs> video. Today we are at the parking lot of the Del Mar Golf Center. I'm here with Sarah. Hey y'all. She's back. We are doing our second practice vlog. We took some time off. We went to Oahu and we're just living, but we're back on the grind, back to work, and also back on the golf grind. She's going to be doing her first practice session since our last vlog, but she's kind of had a little bit of like golf in between, some putts, and um, got some clubs. <laughs> There she goes. Come on. Let's go. And yeah, so Sarah, how are you feeling? I'm excited to get back out there. Um, we came to the Babes Golf meetup mm -hmm. where Dave helped me with my swing a little bit more and things started to make a little bit more sense. Um, so yeah, I'm just excited. We'll play the video of her striping it. She was striping it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a golfer now? Are you a golf girl now? <laughs> At Babes. Babes Golf. <laughs> so do you what do you remember from that? Like what helped you from that? Um the main thing was just like imagining the motion of hitting a baseball. More rotational. Yeah, more rotational. Just apply golfing movements to stuff that's already familiar to me mm -hmm. helps me a lot mm -hmm. because it's not so foreign mm -hmm. yeah for sure make it an athletic movement make it a reactive movement um and just kind of bring your already cultivated athleticism into the game all right y'all we got a tesla here with a vegan bay license plate so obviously me and claire should be friends with them we are literally going to scour the range for this individual <laughs> because we want to be best friends yeah let us know if you want to go out to eat. Yeah, anytime. let us know. Be, any, like, literally anytime. Just call me. I know her! Yeehaw. You shot a strong. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I'm such a trooper. <laughs> I'm a pack mule. though on camera the palm trees okay so i see a stall but it's being guarded by a golf bag mm -hmm. i don't know i think i'm gonna sneak up on it and see what happens <laughs> you know cool yeah all right so we didn't find the stall cool yeah keep our eyes peeled <laughs> it's popping all up the here dedicated san diegans <laughs> trying to get their game on I know, it's beautiful. Alright, so all of the range stalls were taken. So we are just going to start with the chipping green. Um, I set out a little swag putter cover to chip to because it's just really, really busy out here. So pro tip, if all the holes are taken and people are chipping every single hole and you're trying to practice, just throw a head cover down or a tee or whatever you please. So let's get it. Alright. started out with the concept that she needed to take a big swing at it like we've been working on on the range but obviously she's starting to learn like you really only need to take it back about a foot and through about a foot like just a little baby stroke um, in order for it to go the length of a little chip greenside chip so that's what we're working on that's 
like a YouTube channel and he's like what are you YouTube and she's like oh duh <laughs> and he's like I could see that for her but not for you like talking about me and I'm like thanks for the encouragement <laughs> then he was like well I like to see you try okay so we see some open stalls we are eyeing them and we are ready to snatch them up I'm going to play a fun game of juggling these golf balls into this basket here and then we're gonna go hit some balls. Basically, I was telling her at any point if she's trying to find her rhythm because she thinks she's trying too hard, which she probably is because she's thinking about a lot of technical things, she can just turn around, watch my swing, and then imagine my swing as she's swimming. And if I'm not around, she can find the best player on the range and swing the swing, watch their swing, and then imagine it as their swing, as she's swinging. So, pro tip. Everyone can relate. 
<laughs> like, I'm like, wait, what the, happened? That's the madness of golf. Welcome. You are in, um, so it's like, it's like there's manic episodes and then there's depressive episodes. You're in a depressive episode <laughs> because you felt the manic episode. Yeah. And then you're like, why am I down here? So yeah, golf's a bit of a bipolar sport. Welcome. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how, how, how I did that. Because <laughs> so I'm like, how to hit don't golf. Remember, don't remember. So I was just about to ask her, but I wanted to kind of like come and tell the camera because I feel like this is good content. But what exactly are you thinking of the ball? Because you told me it's a lot right now. Yeah, so what exactly I feel like is all the things running through your head. I feel like whenever I don't think, it seems to go well. But whenever I start thinking, like you know, my head has to be here, my feet have to be here, my arms have to do this, and then like I'm thinking so much, it's like I can't even do it. Yeah, because you lose the athletic rhythm of like boom, boom, and the rhythm carries like ninety percent of the golf swing. It's not. There's like 10% of it, which is like, did you really hit the right position? Rhythm allows you to hit the right positions. I get it. We all get it. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> Comment down below if you indeed get it. Golfers Anonymous. <laughs> I think your biggest thing here is just, just keep your head on the ball. It's just, it's just too damn hard to yeah. play golf already with your head on the ball. If you're moving your head off of the ball and trying to figure out how to get back to the ball, you're adding in like five million variables. Maybe more like five, but <laughs> up to way too many variables. So let's just focus on keeping your eye on the ball and then just imagine, you know, an athletic rhythm. Yeah. It's an athletic move, you know? Yeah. Don't, don't worry too much about it outside of that. Keep eye on the ball, head on the ball, mm -hmm. and then just swing it. Just swing it. Goodbye. <laughs> work to get her on her left side on the through swing because she's hanging back which is causing her to chunk it and miss the ball behind the ball. For reference for you guys and for her, I've given her tons of tips. There's a lot to work on. She's a beginner. Because there's so many things to focus on and it's almost impossible to just give her one thing and have it be a cure-all, there's going to be a lot of mistakes for one and that's okay. We're just going to keep teasing it out and being patient until it clicks one day.
maybe fourth, who knows, whatever. Point is, she is a beginner, beginner golfer. Like, no, <laughs> there really should be no expectations for performance. Um, I mean, if Tiger Woods can hit a bad shot and laugh it off, which he doesn't do that very well, let's think of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, if, a, if I can hit a bad shot and laugh it off, you can hit a bad shot and laugh it off. Yeah. For the number of, I sh I've shanked like four balls tonight. I'm good. I'm chilling. But for the amount of golf that you've played, you should have no expectations yeah. for how you hit it. You know, like this should really just be like, oh, I'm working on something right now. The shots aren't doing what I want them to, but I know once this is ingrained, I'm going to be able to have a swing that works for me, yeah. you know? I would help you build a swing that's going to work for you, yeah. and you're not going to have to try so hard to hit good shots. Yeah. So right now, it's going to be hard. It's hard for any beginner golfer. There's not a thing I could tell you that's going to make you stripe every one of those. Yeah. Your whole thing that you're doing right now is just building muscle memory and figuring out where the ball is at the bottom, how do I turn this way and then turn that way? Like, you're literally just trying to figure out what the heck is going on. Basically, I'm gonna break some, break it down for Sarah and um, gonna map the perfect swing for her, help see if that helps her kind of conceptualize of it a little bit more. Kind of like maybe a position one, position two, position three, four kind of thing. Um, but yeah, she's kind of pissed. <laughs> she thought she had the hang of it. All right, y'all. So here's the situation. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> Sorry. Tragic. Tragic. All right, that's okay. Um, Learning lesson. Don't Learning do lesson. That. <laughs> um, but here's the situation. Last time I was here, I thought in my mind, like I figured it out. You know, this is the way to hit the ball. And I come here today. Granted, it has been couple weeks since then but none of them are really doing anything I guess I'm confused golf hard golf, is hard. golf hard. let's get into it we want you to leave feeling better so I'm gonna try to fix you <laughs> comparison of your first swings to now and you would be like damn I've made a ton of progress. You swung like this. And now you swing like this. it up or else I'll have to grab you that golf ball right there. <laughs> well, today did not go as planned, but I'll still consider it a dub because my technique got better. Yeah. And I know from playing volleyball and from cheerleading that in the long run, having yeah. good technique is better than 
you know, doing the show off. Yes, you know? preach it girl. Yay. I'm so glad you understand that. A lot of beginner golfers get really deeply frustrated and I know you're annoyed because hitting bad shots is annoying and nobody likes to do it, but I commend you for having the foresight to understand that your technique is significantly better. Yeah. I did show you a visual representation yeah. of the, the initial swing you had versus the swing that you're yeah. building now. And your swing that you're building now actually looks like a golf swing. Like, yeah. it's really starting to look like a, a real golf swing, not like, oh, did this girl just find a club on the ground and <laughs> go to the range? So um, I'm really, really excited for you. I know it's only a matter of time, like I said, before your game is like really rounding into shape and you can start to have like reliable shots and like kind of understand, you know, where the ball is, what you need the ball to do in the air, what your swing's doing, all that kind of, kind of stuff. But right now you're just getting accustomed and situated and figuring out where everything is and how everything happens. And you're doing a great job and we'll continue to pace ourselves and continue to make sure you don't get overwhelmed and that you are on the right track with technique and um, still enjoying the game and all that. So it's really cold. I really thought we were gonna practice putting it's just really freaking cold right now. So, why don't we practice putting next time? Yeah, next time. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, tap the bell notification to get notified whenever I post, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.